I'm back from a really shitty place. I'll tell you guys all about it, but yeah, a lot of videos have been popping up based on yesterday's episode of Monday Night Raw, and a question is showing up. Should fans continue to voice their opinions on the WWE? Dude, should they continue to say we want Punk, we want Daniel Bryan, we want this guy, we want that guy? Even though WWE continues to push for talents from the mid-2000s, the Orton's, Batista's, the Cena's, they'd probably push for Edge, but he's gone. And a big concern of mine is the fact that, to be honest, the question is irrelevant. Half of that question is irrelevant. It doesn't matter if the WWE continues to push for these guys that contradict your opinion because the audience makes this show, the environment, the social networking. A lot of wrestling does depend on the internet now let's be honest you go outside in real life and people don't talk about wrestling that much at least not as much as they used to if I want to go outside and talk to a wrestling fan right now I'll go to White Plains visit my dad's best friend talk to his little six-year-old kid about wrestling and see what he has to say about let's see John Cena his favorite diva. That's who I had to talk to. I got to talk to like the preteens around here, and I'm not going to do that, of course, because they hate me because I suck at Halo and Modern Warfare. But that's besides the point. Don't invite me to your birthday parties, guys. The audience makes this show half of the time. You could have a great card where wrestlers are putting in their dues. You know, talented wrestlers. Yet it'd still suck if the audience wills it to suck. If they had lacked the will, their will is driven against it. Especially the latter. I mean, you can see stuff like in Survivor Series 2011 where some of the matches were completely buried by the We Want Writer chance. We depend upon the audience. Even in Japan, where the audience is silent, they'll still have their markout moments here and there. They're just more polite than usual. I mean, to say that Japan is a utterly silent place all the time, that's not necessarily the case. It's way different way different there's no denying that but the audience still plays a role in that you, you you'll still hear them say the guy's last name in a match the guy that they're having their mark out moment of the year for they're just a little more controlled about it one of the things that made me hate the year 2012 was the fact that they were in the transient self too much they're in places like Atlanta, and the Atlanta crowd is terrible. They rarely make a noise, and if they do, it's probably for someone bland and milk toast like John Cena. And nobody says anything really interesting in regards to a John Cena chant. Maybe a Let's Go Cena. Cena sucks. But that's gone. No one even does that anymore. That peaked in like 2011, 2012. But after the feud with The Rock kind of got stale, nobody really wants to say, let's go Cena, Cena sucks. I think John Cena capitalized on it when, in 2010, he like, cut a promo saying, alright, if you guys don't like me, the, do the let Cena sucks thing. If you guys like me, do the let's go Cena. And he like, referenced who's going to do with the kids. They're going to do the let's go Cena. Adults are going to say Cena sucks. But that died down progressively more and more it's come to a point where really it, you can't even say you either love him or hate him anymore you gotta say that this John Cena shit is just random 
It's just random as shit. But yeah, we need the audience. The audience makes the show. You might cheer for Daniel Bryan for another 20 plus years and they're gonna push Cena continually again. But it doesn't change the facts. Facts is we need that audience. That Not just the audience, but also the guys on Twitter that are riffing the show, that are making it a blast. They really help out. They keep me awake, actually, because I'm trying to see what this guy has to say next. Uh, an OTRS Central, a Deluxe Man. They're just as interesting on Twitter as they are when they make their YouTube reviews. Anyway, this is Mr. Wonka7, and, uh, suck my dick. Okay, yeah, just suck my dick.